What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the Living the Life Show. I'm your host, Columbus Cody. Thank you for tuning in. Let's check out today's video. It says, someone is dreaming of the job you hate, the home you complain about, the smile you forget to wear, and the health you take for granted. Don't let difficult times make you forget your blessings. This section, this meme hit me like a ton of bricks. All right. All right. Check out today's verse. This is Psalm 9 and 1. And it says, I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all the marvelous things you have done. All of them. All of them. It's kind of hard to stay down, depressed in the dumps when you focus on what God has done for you. Right. Yes, there's plenty of things we still want to see happen in our life. But if you were to pause and really think about how blessed you are, it lifts you out of that state. The job that you hate, I mean, like you don't want to go to work. There are people that would die to have your job. And I know some of you are like, oh, let them have it then. No, that's what we say now. Right. That's what we say. But if you can wake up and you can get in a car and drive to work or get on the bus, you can afford to get on the bus and go to a job, even though you don't like that job. It pays decent. You have enough money to sustain you. You don't have everything you want in life, but you are sustained. You're blessed. You're blessed. The home you complain about. Oh, I'm sick of this house. This house never stays clean. This is a house that God has given you. Take what he has given you and make the best of it. Maybe you want a bigger house, but we're not taking care of the little house we got. Right. You want more rooms, but you don't keep the one room clean yet. You got. Don't complain. Thank God for where he has brought you. The smile you forget to wear. When's the last time that you let people see you smile? When? When is the last time your teeth were showing? Let them know God has been good to me. I can't help but to smile. God has been good to me. Does it mean I have everything I want in life? No. Does that mean that, that I feel like there's lack in my life? Maybe I do. But you know what? When I think about it, all of my good days outweigh my bad days. I won't complain. The health that you have that you're taking for granted. Yes, you got aches, you got pains, but your body is still working. Your body is still working. You still have your mental faculties. You understand who you are, where you are. You can still taste your food and know what you just ate. You understand your surroundings. God has been good to you. So you need to honor him and praise him with all of your heart. Thank him for what he has done and where he's leading you. Let the world know of the marvelous acts, the marvelous things that he has done in your life. When you speak that with your mouth, you open your mouth and you share with others and with yourself. Sometimes you got to remind yourself how good God has been to you because it's so easy to fall into the trap of forgetting it. Because in the present moment, I need something now. I need something different. I need God to move now. I forgot that he moved yesterday and the day before that and the day before that. I forgot that there was a time five years ago when I didn't think I'd make it to tomorrow. That was five years ago. God has sustained you. God has been good to you. God has blessed you. So what should you do? Praise him with all your heart and then tell of the marvelous things he's done. And I promise you, I haven't even mentioned the marvelous things. And look, I'm already smiling, just thinking about the marvelous things that God has done in my life. And I promise you, he's done marvelous things for you too. Even while you were yet in your sin, you have not submitted to him. You have not surrendered your heart to him. And yet he still kept you. He still protected you. Did you see hard times? Maybe all of us have seen something. But you've still been shielded. And if you've got breath in your body, you still have time to turn back to him, to surrender to him and to start living your absolute best life. So. That job you've got, when you go in tomorrow, give it everything you've got. That house you've got, don't complain about it. Clean it up and enjoy every moment you got it. That smile, let it out. Brighten the rooms you walk in with your smile. Your health, don't worry about complaining about this ache and that ache. 
Praise God for what's not hurting. I promise you it will change your perspective on life. All right. I hope this was encouraging to you. I'm already encouraged. I'm hyped now. I'm excited now. I need to calm down. Right. Calm down. I hope that you take this today and enjoy your day with this. I hope that it helps to elevate your thinking for today, to think about how blessed you are today and not find yourself soaking and, and down in the dumps because of the one or two things that's not going well. There's so many things that are going well. Focus on those things. Ask God for the strength and the, the, the ability to trust him in the areas where you feel the lack. All right. Don't forget, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. Join me. Watch the videos first thing in the morning. Start your day off with this word. I know a lot of you may watch it in the afternoon when you get home from work. I recommend you start your morning with these videos. That's the reason I released them at 7, so that you can use it to propel you to having the best day possible. If you'd like to support the channel, check out the description. There's a few ways you can do that. You can grab a copy of Recap which is a wonderful book that I wrote years ago that will encourage you in your word as you're reading your word. You will be blessed by the book and even double blessed by reading your scriptures. All right. Watch it, share it and live it. Now, let's get busy living the life. God bless you.